so hello everyone so in today's video we are going to discuss about cmos section it, it same uh, circuit is implemented in laptop as well as desktop so we will start from our cmos battery so as you can see in desktop as well as mother uh, laptop motherboard we have 3.3 volt cmos battery which has its own socket and there are wired cmos also used in laptops so this is the first uh what we can say steps so here our cmos cell is being inserted in our cmos socket so in that socket negative terminal is grounded and positive terminal is connected to resistor so first issue which we get in desktop as well as laptop is that this negative terminal sometimes don't have connectivity with ground means the socket is loose that's why it has don't have connectivity with respect to ground so for that we have to change this socket otherwise we what we can do for testing this ground one probe of multimeter and check volt uh, another replace another probe on this positive terminal and check voltage if you are getting 3.3 means our, our ground line is okay and if it is not then you can just make a jumper wire or like that options are there so this is the first issue which we get in desktop motherboard so the following the positive terminal as you can see it is connected to 1 kilo ohm register in some cases you get date and time error and that is due to sometimes this register which is over here is open and if that register is open then there is no any kind of voltage passing from this point to this point that's why you have to check this register in the resistance mode if it, it is less than 500 ohm then directly change that and place it with a regular register or smd register so this is the next step issue which we get as you can see this positive supply is following over here and as you can see this is the diode this is junction of two diode as you can see so positive supply is coming to anode terminal of diode whenever positive terminal a uh, positive voltage comes at anode terminal of this diode it will be in on stage means it will be in active stage so the supply will be traveling over here to this point and it will be passing to 2.20 kilo ohm resistors and it will be passing to this connector so it is connected to pin number one of this connector as you can see this connector is having one two three pins so first pin is voltage from CMOS cell or our power supply okay on second pin as you can see RTC reset signal is there so as you can see this RTC reset signal is connected to our if you have G31 motherboard or 419.45915 motherboard then this signal will be connected to our south bridge okay and if you have H61, H55 on further series then this signal will be connected to PCH of your motherboard okay and third terminal is ground so what is use of this connector in desktop so you have a jumper when motherboard is in normal condition the normal as you can see 1 to 2 normal means whenever the motherboard is in normal condition just uh, select uh, make this jumper put this jumper on 1 and 2 pads in branded it is it may be very 2 or 3 but in normally we have one and two pins as a normal pins for this RTC section okay and whenever you have to uh, erase or means by default uh, you have to erase the contents of your BIOS means first uh, boot device second boot device all those and BIOS password in some cases so you have to just remove that jumper from one to two position and just place it on 2 to 3 position then your all the contents of your bias will be erased okay date and time also will be erased so this is the uh, basic step to erase the erase the bias okay so talking about this voltage we have 3 volt VSB voltage which is coming from SMPS so that voltage is given again to this diode and again diode will be in forward bias that's why it will be passing this voltage and this voltage will be available at this pin number one of this socket so 
many of you will be asking me why this 3.3 volt is giving uh, given from battery as well as from SMTS. So that reason is that whenever the motherboard is powered on with AC supply, it, it will be this RTC reset signal will be getting its 3.3 voltage from this AC supply, which, uh, which is 3.3 uh, VSB supply, which is given through SMTS. So whenever the motherboard will be powered on, it will be getting voltage from this supply. And whenever the AC supply is not there, means uh, computer is shut down, then it will be getting its 3.3 volts through the CMOS cell. So that's why this both the diodes are in forward or bias, and it depends on the situation. Whenever the computer will be powered on, it will be getting voltage from this 3 volt 3 volt BSB line. And whenever we, it, it will be in off state, it will be getting voltage from this CMOS cell. Okay, this is the basic section of RTC. So this supply should be always 3.3 volt. Okay. So this is a small motherboard. Okay, as you can see, this is the CMOS section and the transistor over here the location of this transistor and transistor must be nearer to this socket in this motherboard the location is this here we have 1k register as well as that diode two-way junction diode so this is the location of that register as well as diode this is asus p5k pl am motherboard so this is all about rtc section sorry CMOS section so what are the problems associated with this uh, section if you get error like uh, date and time always you have to input new date and time if your CMOS cell is giving voltage 3.3 but also uh, you have inserted new CMOS but also you are uh, whenever you power on your computer you get the, uh, your uh, date and time not set issue then we have issue related to this section so we have to check this section and sometimes this diode is also faulty so you have to check conductivity by keeping multimeter in buzzer range just keep positive probe over here and negative probe over here if it is giving beep then this diode is ok and just change that position of that probes if it is not giving any kind of beep then it is ok and again same with this diode and you have to check this section like that i think this is enough for this CMOS section thank you and subscribe for more videos